everyone. Today I'm sharing what's inside my closet. A lot of my clients ask me, you know, you come in, you help edit down my wardrobe, but what does yours look like? Do you really practice what you preach? So today I'm sharing what's inside mine. You'll notice that there is a very cohesive color palette going on. I love my whites, grays, blacks, blues, and then there's just this red nonsense over here that I have not been able to let go of. So it's this really cute top and I got it as a gift and sometimes if I just feel like branching out, it's there. But otherwise, I really just stick to the similar colors and it makes it really easy to mix and match. Everything works together. Aside from the color, you also notice that I really love my collars. A lot of my tops and even dresses have collars. I love these little bibs. I got them from um, one of my favorite stores called Koss. Found this really cute jacket. I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but I love my pinstripe winter coat and actually found one in a spring jacket. So my husband claims that I have a potato sack style with my dresses. I don't think that's quite the right term I would use. I mean, I do like my oversized. And this is a really cute one too. I love this color. And again, bringing back that collared uh, top, which I love. So when I was working with clients, I really got sick and tired of not knowing what to wear and I'd be kind of rushing to throw something together. So I decided to develop a uniform and I found these really cute tops from my favorite store, Koss. And I just got the same one in a different color. I throw these over a white pair of pants or black pair of pants and it makes it really simple to get ready and they're really comfortable when I'm doing closet edits. Over in the back section of my closet is where I keep most of my special occasion wear and then what the occasion calls for it. I've got like my gold gown, if you know it's a fancy party or my flapper dress for the 1920s party that you know maybe I'll go to in another year or two. So then on the top two shelves, I have my lingerie bin. We have a bin for our swimwear, which we rarely use, but it's there if we need it. And then a bin for maternity wear. So on the middle shelf, you'll see I have some hats. I have a black one, a Panama one, and then a couple of baseball caps that I'll occasionally wear. So over here on this other shelf, I've got my two handbags. Believe it or not, I used to have like 20 some handbags and I've narrowed it down to two. This black Fendi one I actually got from TJ Maxx about two years ago. And I remember when I was picking it up, I was like, oh no, it's a lot of money. Am I gonna love this in like the next two, three, four, five years? And I still love it as much as I did when I first got it. It's a classic bag and I wear it with virtually everything. And we can't forget about accessories. You'll see I've also pared this down quite a bit. I used to have seriously trays of earrings and necklaces and bracelets. Again, that I, I never wore. And it's just with my style now, really delicate pieces and just staple pieces go with what I have. So I've got my necklace. I've got a couple of pairs of sunglasses when I'm not too lazy to put my contacts in. So then in my drawers, I have my underwear drawer. Nothing too exciting there. Everything's just neat and organized. And then I've got in this other drawer, and this is pretty much my work attire. I work from home most of the time if I'm not with clients, so this is usually where I pull from. So I used to be the crazy shoe woman. I actually had my own separate closet um, in my other room for just my shoes, and I've pared those down a ton. See what you see is what you get. I can actually fit all of my shoes for both summer and winter in here. I have my more my winter boots over back behind and underneath these dresses, and then all my other ones fit here on the rack. So I've got my sneakers, which are pretty much what I wear all the time now. And then I've got some loafers, and then my heels, which they probably get gathered some dust because I don't wear those a whole lot. All right, so even though I have a pretty easy color palette and styles and it's easy to mix and match, whatever, sometimes I overanalyze still. I get stuck on what I'm gonna wear. So when I was at Target, like one of the best places ever, I found this really cute hourglass and you just flip it over and it gives me a minute to figure out, you gotta not overanalyze, figure out what I'm gonna wear. And you know, most times I'm able to pull it off. Sometimes I just have to keep flipping it over and over again until I get it, but it's okay. So one of the bonuses of redoing the closets was also having some more wall free wall space. So I had my friend Steph Shirts do some custom artwork and I just told her that I loved the pieces that she did and to create something based around the color palette that I already had. So she put these together and I absolutely love it. You look at your closet every single day, so it's nice to be able to open it up and see something really pretty in there too. All right guys, that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out and letting me share my closet with you. If you have any other questions or want to see anything else, please leave that in the comments below.